to a new edition of Down the Paisley Road West. I'm delighted to be in the Crown, the Crown Plaza today with for Rangers legend, Lorenzo Amoruso. Rangers legend, welcome back. Welcome home, Amo. Welcome, you said the right word, welcome back home. That's right. Because every time I come back to Plaza, it's like to be home. So your Rangers career, you signed for Rangers for £4 million in 1997. You won three Premier League titles, three Scottish Cup to, Cups as well. And you scored in your last ever match against Dundee in 2003, the Scottish Cup final. You played 149 games and you scored 13 goals. Tell us about, first of all, signing for Rangers. Can you remember your first time when you came to Glasgow? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I remember it very well. Life was, was yesterday. Basically, I met David Murray and uh, Walter Smith at uh, Loch Long, basically, Cameron House Hotel. And uh, we've been watching, basically, Champions League final between Borussia Dortmund and Juventus that night. And I came in Glasgow because, of course, the chairman and the manager wanted to take me here. But uh, it was a fantastic night because I met two great persons, my point of view, of course, but they are definitely two great persons. And uh, although that time I had uh, different other clubs in England who want to take me. Which way? Man United, one of them, but Leeds also, there were a few, I have to say. But uh, my idea was the, to trust my feeling. Your yeah, instinct? My instinct. And that's why uh, basically the next morning I signed a contract for Rangers. <coughs> because the feeling with the, with the manager and the chairman was great. So I decided to the uh, Although my first season for Ranger was very nightmare actually. Well, let's get to the big one and then your debut. You played your debut at San Gyro. Rangers versus Celtic. You came on with 20 minutes into the game. You strolled the match. And you, you had a free kick for 35 yards. God knows how it didn't go in. Tell us your memories of that game. I was supposed to even be on the bench that game to be fair. Because I was coming from 10 months injury almost and uh, Walter of course I was improving during the training but of course uh, my fitness was not on top level yet. Uh, Walter basically through the week came to me two days before the game and he said uh, it, so I can see you are improving a lot. What well, do you think to come in the match uh, on the semi-final against Celtic? And I said, I don't know, boss, I'm not really 100% yet, but uh, you can judge me. You can judge me. You are a manager here. If you think I'm okay, either to come on the bench, I'll come. And he said, yeah, I, I saw you last couple of weeks. You've been working very hard and your fitness is coming back properly. So I said, right, I'll go. I'll come on the bench. But after 90 minutes, uh, Gordon Petric had a, a hamstring problem and now I don't remember what. So I had to come and pitch. And uh, that feeling was fantastic because 
remember all the great support they were saying in my name, even if I never played for this club, but because everybody was waiting and I was the first one waiting for so long to play for my club, I tried to give them a fantastic hand, a great hand. Uh, but of course, for 10 months I was living through the lane where I could see the team play, but I could really help them. And my debut was fantastic because, uh, you know, we had a fantastic game. We, we won the game. George Arbe scored, Ali McCoy scored as well. Uh, I almost scored as well for free kick, but uh, my debut couldn't be perfect. So, fantastic memory. So that was your debut, but instantly the Scottish press had tried to make a big issue about the Italian signing for Rangers and the support. But do you agree that, that night you cemented yourself right away with the Rangers support and there was a relationship and a bond immediately with the fans? Uh, I think, I think uh, uh, as I always say, uh, Lorenzo in Italy has been a player that uh, has been always the one who gave his uh, 100% all the time against the top team and the small teams. If I became a good football player it's because uh, my, my attitude was to work hard all the time on the pitch and outside the pitch. Saying that, I think the fans, they understood uh, right away this kind of attitude and, uh, and I think the feeling between the fans, between the beginning of new season was a bit, because my condition was really the best, but after all I think we understood each other and for six years we've been winning the trophies, this is the main thing for me and I will thank the fans all the time. So that was your relationship with the fans and obviously you spoke about your first Old Firm game, so is there any other Old Firm games that really stick out in your mind and how do you feel about the game that some people ball is the biggest match in the world? Every Old Firm is, uh, is the match. Um, before I joined Rangers, uh, I heard, I read, uh, I've been reading and, uh, and I've been watching on TV sometimes what was uh, the game. Uh, but it's completely different scenes. Uh, you come here and you play for the attitude, the atmosphere in town, and the two supporters. Uh, hands are are so intense, and you can't really describe unless you play. Uh, if you are a, a reporter, you can write with so many nice words, but until you you, you feel for one of each team, I have to say, uh, you can't really tell what is the meaning of play for the old team. Which other old firm game would you say that stands out in? Have you had any other memories in any of the games? Every old film is a great memory, even the one you lose, because it makes you work harder to improve and do better than the next old film. So, luckily, I've been, I've been almost I think I, I never lost many games against them. I lost a uh, few games, four, five, probably now I don't remember very well. And most of the old team I played against Celtic, they were a good winner. Um, one that I remember very well, and I think it was a uh, starting of a new, new era in some ways, was uh, a game of the quarter final of the League Cup. Uh, we, we were coming from but by two seasons, Celtic was winning almost everything, and Alec McLeish took over that season. Uh, basically, the league was already gone, and the only chance we had to bring the trophy back to Ibrox were winning the Scottish Cup and eventually the League Cup. And, uh, on the quarter final, we played against Celtic, and Celtic they were definitely, uh, at that time, the favourite to win that, uh, that game. Uh, we went on the pitch like uh, we were in war, honestly, and I could see through the eyes of all my teammates the, the spirit, the, the strength, the, the right attitude, and we went the extra time, but we won it. Bert Conner scored a fantastic goal, now I don't remember how long to go it was, but uh, his great shot was like if behind that shot it was full of Rangers players, Rangers supporters, everybody was trying to push the ball behind the net. And it was a fantastic feeling because in the end we won that, uh, that, 
game and the game also the trophy. So that is one of the, the games that I've got through my head. I mean, Bert, Bert Cornerman hit that. I don't think anybody in the stadium was expecting Big Bert to hit that because when he, everyone laughs to this day, but he just he hit it with such a force, it was a great strike. What was your reaction when he hit it? Uh, Bert wasn't playing a great football at the time. Some supporters were really about uh, criticizing him, but I think from that point, uh, Everybody realized that Bert was a decent player. And that goal, uh, it was a def definitely a lift up for everybody, for himself, for, for, for us, for the supporters, for the club as well, and for the manager that was in definitely not an easy situation because he took over the job in November, as far as I remember, December probably. But of course, the league was almost gone. So the only chance we had uh, to lift the season up was winning the, the leagues, the, 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 the Cups. And uh, I have to say, Alec made a fantastic job this season for us. You spoke very highly earlier on of Walter Smith. You are now speaking highly of Alex McLeish. How did you get on with Alex as a person and a manager? And what's your overall view on him? Uh, with Alec, I had a fantastic uh, feeling right away in the first moment because um, when he, when an advocate uh, was uh, stepped over, basically stepped down from his job. I was down in Italy because I had an injury and I couldn't play, so I went to Italy for three, four days. So I didn't know about this change, but uh, probably knew, nobody knew this. I had a phone call from the manager, from Alec in Italy, and he said to me, Lorenzo, I'm you, your boss, Alec McLeish. I said, what? And nobody knew this situation. I said, yes, Advocat uh, will become uh, sports director, whatever, or director of football, whatever. So I'm the new manager there. I know you're in Italy. You treat yourself well, because when you're coming back, I need you. We need to do well. So it was uh, not a usual, not a common thing to do for a manager. But you could tell right away that Alec wanted to make it, to bring back the the family spirit that uh, was missing in that uh, season at uh, Ibrox. And uh, with Alec, even now, still speaking with him, lovely man, good manager, uh, nothing else. With Walter, with Walter, uh, I didn't play lots of games with him because that season, as I said, it was a nightmare for me. Been out for 10 months, I played like four, five, five games, six games, no many. And it's a big uh, disappointment for me because disappointment because uh, I wanted to give all my strength to the manager who brought me here. I never had a chance because I played the last five, six games of the season, which they were important, don't get me wrong. But that one was not real Lorenzo because when you're out for so long, your, your, your head, your, your legs, your brain are not really 100% ready to fight for the title. Uh, that is a bit pity for me because I couldn't really give a water the, the perfect hand I wanted to give to him for everything he's done for this club.